What do Rob Lister of Oakville Enterprises, Lisa Nadeau of Alberta Electric System Operator, and Stephanie Smith of Ontario Power Generation have in common? They are all recipients of Electricity Human Resources Canada's Leader of the Year Award, the pinnacle of EHRC's annual awards program. And here joining me to discuss this year's program is EHRC's Michelle Brannigan. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Anthony. Thanks a million for having me. Always love to have you. Uh, now, Michelle, before we get into this year's program, let's go back to when the awards were first launched. Uh, why was this an important initiative? What, uh, what were the goals? So our first awards took place back in uh, 2013, Anthony. So this is actually our eighth year to host the awards. It'll be our first time uh, virtually, of course. Um, the board and I started looking into how we could recognize those um, individuals in the sector who are really making a difference in supporting the people who are all involved. And I know this sounds tr trite, but it, it, it's so important. Basically keeping the lights on. Um, there are so many people doing great things day in and day out. And we thought it was really important to find a way to recognize uh, those folks. And when we've got folks who uh, set a really nice high bar, then they serve as a great example to others. Absolutely. That's one of, what, that's one of my favorite things, actually, is a lot of times um, we'll find that companies or individuals are, are actually going back and talking to those who have won in an award category because they want to talk a little bit more about what they've heard, um, you know, why they won um, and the process. Um, because maybe there's a best practice there or there's a learning there. And I always see that that's an opportunity uh, to, to really have that exchange of knowledge. And so it's a great way just to share what, uh, what we're doing and hopefully learn from each other. Uh, this year's award ceremony is going to be hosted online February 17th and is publicly available to everyone. Uh, so what can we expect to see and hear and learn at, uh, at the upcoming award ceremony on February 17th? Uh, so of course we will announce the winners of our, uh, our traditional uh, award categories, and there's five of those, and we'll have an opportunity to hear from them. Uh, folks will also have the opportunity to see and listen to our 2020 Leader of the Year, who is Stephanie Smith, um, and then this year, you, uh, you, as you mentioned, we, we have introduced a, a new award this year. I am hopeful that it is the only year that we uh, actually give out this award. Uh, it is the Pandemic Response Award, and that's um, to recognize a company or an individual has re who's really demonstrated excellence in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. And so this is the first time that we'll actually be doing that award. So people will get an opportunity to, to see these. Uh, we don't announce uh, any of the award winners other than our leader of the year until uh, until the day. So we hope that people will um, will dial in to watch this live. That's uh, that's good to hear about this new award, Pandemic Response Award. And and hopefully it is the last year and we never have to see this award again. And I'll be curious to see who the recipient is of that, because I know when the pandemic started and I was doing my Canadian Standing Up to COVID series, there, there were a number of utilities that were, well, stepping up and doing great work. So I've got a couple candidates in mind. I'll, I'll be curious to see who eventually takes it home. I think it's a very, I, I know it'll be it's a very hot, a hotly contested um, award. We had a lot of nominations for this. This year we had more nominations than we have had in the entire eight years of running the awards. So our, uh, our nominations panel had a lot of work. Uh, Michelle, uh, we'll, we'll put up on screen the details for how people, where people can, can access the award ceremony February 17th when it occurs. And uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with me and uh, let me know and let us know a little bit more about the awards program. Absolutely. Thanks, Anthony. Look forward to uh, the 17th.